Good Friday afternoon, Pastor Rob here. We've been studying the I Am's of Jesus at Sugar Tree Ridge. There's seven of them in the book of John. For the next few weeks, we'll be looking at John chapter 15, where Jesus says, I am the true vine. Now, I believe this is one of the most significant. Jesus says he is the true vine because this one, he points out the importance of each believer uh, that they remain plugged into the vine or plugged into Jesus Christ as they mature in Christ and as they, they go along their spiritual journey. And so I was just thinking about that today for a couple of reasons. Number one, we had a rough day. We had uh, new, new brakes put on the van and the brakes went out. We had to make an appointment for my son for a physical and the doctor did not record that uh, appointment. So we wasted time going to the doctor's office and while I was waiting for the van to be fixed, uh, we went to Fazoli's to eat and they got the order wrong three times now not a big deal none of it is significant all of it worked out but the one thing i wanted to point out was that while i was at fazoli's restaurant and while heidi was on her way to the doctor with josh and while the van was being fixed and while they got our order wrong three times at fazoli's the lady in front of me was beside herself she was going ballistic and i thought man i could do the same thing if I wasn't plugged into the vine. But because I am, because we are as believers, or we should be as believers, we should react to these things a little differently. And you could slam things, you can yell, you can go flying out the door, you can make everybody in there feel bad, create a scene, probably make yourself look bad in the process if you flesh out, because you'd be plugged into your emotions and into your flesh. But as a believer, if you're plugged into the vine, you can handle things a little differently through the power of the Spirit, through the fruits of the Spirit that come to a believer in Galatians 5.22 as you remain plugged into the vine. And that's patience, ki patience, kindness, tenderness, and more importantly, grace that comes from understanding your position in Christ. And so we remained calm. You know, I called Heidi. I told her what was going on. And just to tell you how it all worked out, the van got fixed for free. I ended up with three meals from Fazoli's. And tomorrow we're going to make a day of it taking Josh to get his football physical for the school. And so it all works out if you just patience and know that God's in control. We got to eat lunch together after all and everything was fine. But I really want to point out the importance to believers is that if you look at the fruits of the Spirit in Galatians chapter 5, verse 22, love patience, kindness, tenderness, gentleness, all these things, joy, for example, uh, being plugged into, come as a result of being plugged into the vine, which is the fruits of the Spirit uh, from Jesus Christ. So many say, I'm, I don't have joy, I don't have peace, I don't have contentment, I'm really struggling. But are you plugged into the vine? And so I want to use my garden as an example and for two reasons. Number one, to understand and to show people that everybody grows in different intervals as believers in Christ. Some people mature quickly, some people mature slowly, some people it takes a lifetime to really understand their relationship with Christ. But as long as you're always going forward, it's okay. And so that's the same with child rearing. If we're gonna rear up our children, you will know as a parent, if you have more than one child, each child matures in Christ a little differently. Each one matures as an adult a little differently. It takes time. And so that's what we should understand as believers. Number one, and give yourself grace because you're going to mature differently as a believer and you're going to fall flat on your face one day. We all will. We all do. And just to remember to just get back up, give yourself grace, dust yourself off. The important thing is that you get back into the game. And um, so let's look at these plants. There's four of them planted all at the same time. Some of them have tomatoes on the vine and some of them don't. Four plants. Here's one that has no tomatoes. There's one that has two, there's one that has one, and one that has one. All planted at the same time, each one maturing a little differently, each one bearing fruit a little differently, one bearing no fruit at this point. But as we look at these tomatoes, the thing that remember is that we don't pull them off the vine just yet. They haven't had a chance to mature. Some of them are bigger than others. These ones here are smaller. It's going to take a little longer for them to grow. The important thing is they are growing and they will continue to grow as long as they remain plugged into the vine. So as a believer, my thought today, and again for the next three weeks probably at Sugar Tree Ridge, we're going to talk about why Jesus stresses the importance of being plugged into the vine. And by the way, when he brings this up, they're leaving the upper room 
Judas has walked away to betray him. He's speaking only to 11 of his 12 disciples. Why? Because those are the 11 that are being challenged to remain in the vine. Judas has already left the vine. There's no more hope for him. There's no more growth for him. And if you look at the ultimate end of each one of them, we know that each one of them uh, suffered a martyr's death, an honorable martyr's death, except for Judas, who ended up uh, ending his life in suicide. So anyway, if you're in this world today and you're struggling, if you're having a hard time with your children, trying to figure them out, don't try to figure them out. It's just, it's just not always easy. But understand this, even if as a leader in the church raising believers, that every believer that you win or you bring to Christ or you're trying to mature, they're all going to grow differently. Some of them are going to bear no fruit for a period of time. Some of them are going to bear uh, a little bit of fruit. Some of them are going to bear fruit abundantly. The important thing is that you don't scare them off the vine, that you don't pop off the vine yourself. Remain in the vine and you will grow. You will grow abundantly. You will receive the fruits of the Spirit, which is in Galatians 5.22. Read that for yourself. If you're not having joy, if you're not having patience, if you don't have any gentleness, if you can't figure out what's going on in the world, then read that verse. Read John 15. The, the stress and the importance that Jesus puts on the 11 remaining disciples to remain plugged into the vine, and that's being plugged into Jesus Christ, that we might receive the fruits of the Spirit and walk on to spiritual maturity. So you cannot mature spiritually if you're not plugged into the vine. You cannot receive the fruits of the Spirit if you're not plugged into the vine. So if you want those things, get that relationship with Jesus Christ solid. Go to Him and get plugged back in. So everybody have a great weekend. We'll be talking about John 15 for the next few weeks at Sugar Tree Ridge. And we'll be back on Facebook Live this week at 11 o'clock. Everybody have a great weekend.